Hey, Facebook family, it's Susan Edwards um, of The Rock Shop, and I'm in my home tonight, and we're getting ready to welcome in the Holy Archangels. This is the third time I've hosted the Archangels, and um, I've never done it live, so I can't tell you exactly what's going to happen. Um, it should be exciting, but before we get started, I just want to say a, a prayer. So if you'll just get quiet and join me with a little bit of a deep breath and just bring your attention to the right here, to the right now. We just ask that we, um, any and all who come, come from the highest source for our highest good. And I surround myself with the white light of the universe. The light of God surrounds me the love of God enfolds me. The power of God protects me. And the presence of God watches over me. Wherever I am, God is. So be it. Okay, so um, the way this works is um, you prepare your, your home as if you're inviting in some very important people. And so I have set up a, a small altar, and um, I'm going to switch to the other side here. We've got a few minutes before uh, the angels arrive. You're to have a white flower. So this is a Rose of Sharon from our backyard. You're to have a white candle going. Uh, it looks a little yellow in the, the video, but it is a white candle. Uh, you have an, an apple. And you also have a envelope that has three wishes in it, one for yourself, one for your family, and one for Mother Earth. Uh, you put the apple on top, and I'm waiting for Robert's um, wishes. He's going to do his in the morning. And at the end of the five days that they stay with you, then you uh, eat the apple, because it's got all this wonderful energy in it. And then um, you burn the wishes and send it uh, the wishes out to the ethers or to God. So that's very exciting. Um, we've got about a minute before 1030. The angels always arrive at 1030 at night, uh, no matter what time zone you're in. So you are to go to the front door, which I'm doing right now. I have to tell you, the last two times that I hosted the angels, there was a gust of wind just before they arrived. So I'm stepping out on my front porch and I'm just getting quiet. And friends, I really have no idea what to expect tonight. So we'll just see. So the prayer that you read is, Hello and welcome, Archangels, to my home. You were sent to me from Bell Spirit. I am very grateful to each of you for purifying and bringing peace to this place and to the beings that live in it. I am very grateful for you for bringing harmony, joy, and serenity to all of us. I am very grateful to you for fulfilling all of my wishes. So Holy Archangels, I do welcome you into our home. And um, I'm sure you already know it, but we're live on Facebook. We have a lot of people who are interested in your help and um, have already put in some prayer requests. So I know this time it was a little different in that you requested that I host. So I must assume that you have some sort of a message for myself or for um, some of the people who may be, may be watching. So welcome. Okay. No gust of wind tonight. That's okay. You just, you never know. All right, I'm going to switch back to my side and go on inside. Can everybody hear me okay? I got my microphone in, so hopefully that is working well. So let me tell you a little bit more about how this process works. I'm going to just get set up on my table here. Uh, this tradition goes back to the 90s, and um, I can't remember the name of the gal that started it, but she did it as sort of a, a pay-it-forward sort of um, process. 
And there's a, a ritual that you go through, and I showed you the, the altar with all of the information um, about what you have on your altar. And the, the candle stays lit the whole time. Now, you can, you can do a live candle, but I prefer the electronic kind, and that is just fine. Um, if you do use a, a live candle, then you do get, you, you, obviously you blow it out when you leave the house. Um, told you about the sealed envelope. Okay, so who uh, are the archangels that are here coming to visit? Archangel Gabriel, and his task is to guide you to fulfill your hopes and dreams, to deal with your karmic issues, and progress on your path to harmony with all. This requires a balance between the active side of you and the passive side of you. I am the spiritual awakener who visits you in your dreams, bringing you fresh hope, intuition, and new aspirations. Holy Archangel Raphael, his, um, his essence is, um, I come on a pure spirit, on a pure spiral that flows from Father Son to manifest all life on Mother Earth. It is a glorious energy ray whose nurturing warmth brings joy of living, banishes darkness, and enlightens your life and future. I aid you in making decisions using logic and analytical skills and taking action accordingly. So this is going to kind of help you know which angel to help you um, with whatever issue you've got. The next Archangel that I have invited in and is visiting is Holy Archangel Metatron. I am the guardian of the Tree of Life. Both the base and the summit are your points of connection to the creator of all life. I guide you toward the sanctuary of the pure white dove of peace. Let your spirituality gradually become supremely important. For as you reach the crown, your grasp, you grasp the secret wisdom of all. My twin angel, Shanika, that's S-H-E-K-I-N-A-H, helps you to secure your foundation in this earthly kingdom. As you reconnect with all life through sacred geometry, you will send and receive love and light, magnifying it within your heart for all the benefit of all life. I'm also having Holy Archangel Ariel, I help those who call upon me to recognize the sacred spark within nature and all living things and beings. As an angel associated with metaphysics and manifestation, I can help you understand how to use the law of attraction, not simply as a tool for your personal gain, but for the advancement of all life. Look to me if you wish to awaken to a collective level of consciousness and manifestation or for how to manifest peace love and balance within your greater world. For I can teach those who call upon me how to more peacefully create a bridge between heaven and earth, spirit and matter, father and father God and mother nature, yin and yang. I often work as a companion angel to Archangel Raphael, the Archangel governing healing. That's Archangel Ariel. So if you're looking for some um, material things in your life, this might be a good archangel to, um, to work with. Um, so those are the archangels that are in my home. And <clears throat> the tradition calls for them to stay for five days. And they, uh, you, you're encouraged to basically hang out with them and um, haul them around with you. So I'll be taking them into the office. You can leave one or none back at your home or your office or wherever they are visiting you. And then you're just supposed to really pay attention to what's going around in your world because these, these miracles will start to manifest and it's really just pretty amazing. So at the end of the fifth day, which for me will be the 24th, that's this Saturday, um, at 10.30 p.m. again, I will send them away and you're, you're always encouraged as a host to send uh, them to at least three other people. So I know some of you have already indicated you'd like to host the Archangels next. And so um, just let me know if you'd like for them to come and visit with you the next, uh, next round. So I send them off, they rest for five days, and then they will arrive at the next home or set of homes 
uh, Friday the 30th of this month at 10.30 p.m., whatever time zone you're in. So um, if you'd like to be a part of this really amazing process, then uh, just message me or send me an email to susan at wildhairstudios.com and let me know that you'd like to be a host for the next one. I also invited everyone to put in prayer requests or questions that, that you might have of the Archangels. And I just want you to know I've printed out all of the prayer requests and they are in the prayer bowl. And at the end of the five days, all of the prayer requests will be um, burned and sent all of the wishes up to God. And then the ashes will be put in running water to um, make sure that all your, answer, all your prayers are going to be answered. Um, pay attention to your dreams over the next few days. Uh, pay attention to people who may not have been around for a while and all of a sudden show up or call. Uh, somebody shows up that is just the perfect connection for a new job or um, social connections. It, it, you know, just pay attention. The angels are very subtle in the way they work, but it's, it's also very exciting to see how things start to unfold for you. So I know I've got a couple people watching. Um, if anybody has a question, um, I'll, I don't know why they wanted me to host this time. Normally I've invited them in. This time they asked to come. So uh, I am going to be doing a live uh, every, actually two times every day that they are here. I'll do one at 10.30 in the morning and I'll do one at 6.30 in the evening. Uh, and I'll just kind of do a running commentary as to what's happening that day and what kind of miracles might have um, transpired in my life that day. If anybody has a miracle that's occurred in their life, please share it with me and I'll, if it's appropriate, we'll share it on Facebook. And um, we'll just see what happens. I will make myself available to channel if they, they do have a message. Um, doesn't seem like they have anything to say tonight, but if you've got a, uh, a question, um, I do have my Angel Oracle cards out, and so uh, I'll pull one to see what happens. All right, so I'm just going to shuffle them, and I, I don't know who this is for, but I, I just trust that it will be the perfect answer for whoever is waiting for a, um, a question to be answered or a prayer to be relieved, and um, let's just see what they have to say. Okay. All right, I pulled the counselor from Archangel Azrael. Again, I don't know who this is for. You are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. Okay, um, one more. You're welcome, Charlotte. I tell you, hosting the Archangels is very trippy. If anybody's come to my um, How to See Aris class, we often have angels show up and um, they make themselves visible. So it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty crazy. Ah, okay. So the second one, I, oh, I don't know who this is for, but I know it's going to touch somebody. This is from Archangel Raphael, and the message is to breathe. Okay. There we go. Eh, it's probably backwards because of the mirror. What it says is, take several deep breaths and ex exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. Yeah, boy, don't we all get stuck in old ways to do things? Um, so yeah, it's important that uh, if you're really looking for something new in your life, you got to let go of some of the old. So take a nice deep breath and let it go, baby, let it go. Okay. Um, well, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get to sleep tonight because usually when the angels visit, it's very intense. And uh, oh gosh, what happened to my hair? Oh my gosh, it must have turned purple. I didn't know the angels could. Oh, all right. Yeah, they didn't do that. <laughs> I wanted purple hair. And so I got purple hair. And boy, isn't it purple. But anyway, it'll grow out. 
you know, if you're not having fun, then you're just not having fun. All right, Sonia, let's see. My friend's niece was born prematurely this morning. Oh, okay. You, you know, um, I don't know that we can do predictions, but what we can do is uh, ask for prayers for your niece and, and just let it go to God and to the archangels and just ask that uh, the healing hand be on any of the physicians, any of the attendants, anyone who might be involved in helping and um, whatever man can't do that the divine just steps in and finishes it up and that everything turns out perfectly and then just breathe and just know that the angels are they are here and they are here to help you I did take a, an advanced angel class a couple of months ago and I learned a lot about angels and one thing is you are permitted to pray to them but you're not allowed to worship them and angels sometimes your guardian angel will intervene but typically angels have to be asked to come to your assistance so Sonia what I would recommend you do um, Raphael is one of the uh, Archangel Raphael is one of the healing angels so uh, I would just simply get quiet and say some prayers and just say very clearly Holy Archangel Raphael please come and help in whatever way would be appropriate so um, if there's something on your mind or on your heart that needs to be relieved um, I just have this sense that because they wanted me to go live with this that anyone who's watching has a direct connection with the angels just like I do having them here in my home so you can just get quiet and ask the angels to to intervene or to help you um, and it's really just that simple so just take a deep breath and um, I'm going to go ahead and start signing off unless anybody else has a quick question for me or actually for the angels and then um, tune in tomorrow morning um, at 10 30 and I'll go live again and I'll let you know if anything has happened and if anything has happened in your life I'd love for you to share it and keep sending those prayer really uh, those prayer requests and I'll put them in the prayer bowl so have a great evening um, it's really a miracle to have angels around so you're just as blessed as as I am having them here and enjoy and keep your eyes open folks because it can be very exciting just pay attention to those little subtle things have a great evening and thank you so much for joining me and thank you for joining us with the angels tonight so we'll talk to you again at 10 30 in the morning have a great evening good night oh, jeremy mcclint can we see an angel yeah there's one right back there. <laughs> jeremy that's just a painting but um i don't see them but i have felt them i can tell when their energy is in the room and um I do see them in my dreams but I don't see like a physical manifestation in the dream what happens is it's just so insanely bright I can't see so I'm like I can't see I can't see so this just intense bright light um, shows up and when we're in the aura class and we we call in the angels they typically show up um, I usually have one on either side of me and I know several of the people who are in the class um, they say they see pillars of light so I can feel them but I I don't see them other than just a a really brilliant bright light so um, some people can see angels I, I just haven't had that privilege yet I hope that answers your question Jeremy and hi hey I really loved um, visiting New Orleans so sorry we didn't connect okay any, anybody else okay I do hope you have a lovely evening and sleep well my friends good night